guys welcome to my channel so basically this video is going to be a tour of cabana bay hotel we went there it was about two and a half three months ago now so it's been a while since we're back but i've got all my footage i put it together into a video but this was just something i wanted when i was looking at hotels trying to find out where i wanted to stay um, and it's an honest genuine review i don't work for cabana bay i don't have anything to really do with them it's just an honest review and that's what i just wanted to see when i stayed at a hotel but this is initially it's just a tour so you can see through the hotel you can kind of see it from a camera perspective not like them fancy images you see on the website um but yeah it was a really nice hotel all in all and if you stay till the end i talk about the pros the cons um well the positives the negatives so here's the video and then i'll see you at the end if you're interested in hearing about the positives and negatives bye enjoy Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So here's the view of Cabana Bay where we stayed when we went to Florida. Um, so this is the main entrance where we entered. On the right hand side, that's the lobby where we checked in and the left hand side has shops, it has Starbucks and it has performers there at night time. Um, inside the shop there, it's just got like clothes, it's got merch all from Universal and you can also buy some things for the hotel. Um, so we just bought a fridge magnet to bring back with us when we went there. Um, yeah, so this is inside the shop. So from over here, you can see, um, well, this is the shop bit again, just showing you the rest of it and the rest that they had there. But over there to the right, you can see Starbucks is gated off because it shuts, it shuts at 10 o'clock. And then the stairs that take you upstairs to the bowling alley and to the, um, like to the gym and also to the games room. Um, but yeah, that's the Starbucks. It's quite big and it's got quite a bit of decoration to it. It's quite nice. And they have all the drinks like they do in a normal Starbucks and drinks that they didn't even do in the English Starbucks. To the right hand side there is the restroom so you've got just the toilets which is quite handy because it saves you going back to your room if you needed the toilet because right there on the right hand side is the cafeteria and um, the Bayliner cafeteria so it's the main cafeteria they do breakfast lunch dinner. I only had a dinner there one night I didn't really have breakfast because I had it at the hotel room um, but yeah, it's nice and spacious. So they have like two TVs um, and I'll take you around the other side in a minute. But this is kind of like a bird's eye view of all the tables. And that's where you get served. It's kind of like an old school sort of cafeteria. Um, at this time when I was videoing, <laughs> I decided to buy some small sticks because they have like cute little fire pits that you'll see later on. Um, but yeah, these are the small sticks that we got. We only used them one night and I would recommend going to Walmart to get your marshmallows because it was like $2 for the pack. I think, I think I've got the price on there. Oh no, I didn't, but it was about $2 for a pack. We can buy like a lot more for cheaper. Um, so yeah, these are the food places they have around there. They've got like a pizza place, they've got um, like a main cooking place. So this is the diner at night time. We've got two TV screens and like a picture. And then behind there, I'll show you, but that's where um, they have like a little TV and shows. Um, but yeah, this is where you eat. So behind me is the cafeteria, so this is straight in front of you, you have all the tables on the left and the right hand side and you can kind of see to the top up there, that, uh, to the top right hand side from where I just recorded so you can see a bird's eye view. Um, but yeah, so down here you just got the two TV screens so you can kind of watch the TV screens. It doesn't really show any programs, it's more just songs and old fashioned video um, videos they'd show on there. But it's really cute, it gives a really nice, nice vibe in there. And to the right are the windows that take you to the hotel room. They have doors there too. Um, and yeah, there's a bit of detail to the roof there. It's kind of like a swimming pool arch. Um, to the right hand side, you've got sort of an entrance to more rooms, another set of restrooms, which is really good if you need to keep going to the toilet. Um, yeah, but that's the Americana Bayside area. And to the left is like the little cute lounge where they have like, um, I think they play movies there, but I'm not too sure because we didn't actually sit there, but they have sofas and I think you can watch TV, put a movie on um, and just sit with everyone. Them doors there are, are the doors that take you outside. So if you want to leave the hotel or go to the uh, bus station, and yeah then it just takes you back to the start so i've gone upstairs here and this is where the games room is um so this is you can come upstairs through the uh, starbucks uh, 
downstairs, but this is mainly the games room. They have like old fashioned games and they've got some modern games in there as well that we played. Um, so this is entering out of the games room. Next to it is the Galaxy Bowl. We played a game of bowling one night there. It was really nice. Um, you can have like half time sessions or full time sessions. Um, but it wasn't too expensive. I think it was £20 for me and my boyfriend to play. And we rented it out for, I think it was about 25 or 30 minutes. But there's some restrooms there. And then they have the gym to the left hand side with it's kind of lit up i'll kind of show you what it looks like inside and just see it's got smoke glass so it kind of gives you a bit of privacy but as you can see they have like treadmills um i think it's all la fitness uh, machinery but they have like treadmills uh weights and that sort of thing um yeah but it's kind of like an old-fashioned gym but it's all modern equipment in there and then you just got space in this part of the lobby and then you can look down at the hotel reception if you look down and that's the entrance where you enter the hotel and that's where I came in through when I showed you at the start of the video. So yeah, I'm just walking back down towards the, so going past the gym, the LA Bowl and then going down the stairs. So the these are the stairs that I used to come up but you can take the lift as well so if you, you're unable if you've got a buggy or if you have a wheelchair or you've broken your leg or whatever you can take the lift as well so to the right hand side is the Starbucks so and then in a minute we'll be going past Starbucks and going past the diner to take you to here we are to take you to the main entrance out to go outside to the two outside buildings which overlook Volcano Bay we stood on the right hand side tower but over there is the um, the just the lights, the palm trees, and the fire pits are located over there. I'm trying to show you like another footage of the fireworks, but there were people sitting down, so I didn't want to invade their privacy when they were late sitting down. And that's the Continental Building on the right hand side. Um, so that's the Americana or the American building on the left hand side and in between the two buildings you have a pool, they have like a little bar um, and it's just really nice, you've got the fire pit places and this is the pool, the hideaway bar and grill, so that's just one of the signs. And here is the table tennis. We never actually got to play the table tennis because it was always getting back to our room so late at night. Um, but yeah, these are the buildings around the hotel. Um, they're just really high up. They're tall. It's like you're kind of like in New York City with the tall buildings around you. This is the entrance to our hotel that we stayed in. Oh, it's called Beachside. Um, so we stayed on the Beachside Hotel. And they had toilets in the lobby. And they also had a laundry room. Um, over here they had like some snacks so you can top up and buy some snacks some drinks and also in this one they had the washing machine detergent and also the tumble dryer detergent so well the tumble dryer sheets so that you could do your clothes washing me and Ian had to do like two loads of clothes washing when we was out there because we ran out of clothes but this is where we washed them it's quite straightforward and you can track it on an app on your phone so if you just take a picture of the barcode then you can access and see how long your washing has left and then on this side we have the games room the door is really stiff to open there's not as many games as there is in the other games room uh, these are the prices if you're interested in looking um yeah and then there you just have some game machines and then a one-sided hockey table but yeah not, nothing is near as fun as the other one so um these are the lifts and then this is the floor we stayed on we stayed on the 10th floor and this is what the cool the corridors look like this is the newly built building i'm not sure how long it was around for um but it's quite new and it gives you like a nice view of like volcano bay so it, it's kind of fun to wake up to every day but yeah this is just the corridor down to our room the carpet's nice and soft it smells nice like no one smokes there and it's just nice and clean so this is our room you use your key card just to open the door and as you come in, you just see the lovely floor-to-ceiling windows, which is a really nice for you. We'll get there in a minute. So this is the sink as we go in. It's really nice and tidy. You have a bar of soap. It smells lovely. 
and then you've got some tissues on the sides and face wipes and this is the under storage where they keep your towels and they stock them up these are the two drawers and um, you have either side so you can put all your toiletries in there that's a lovely on the left hand side you can see the lovely mirror which is like a full one so you can see your outfits in the morning which i love this is the big shower it's quite spacious there isn't a bathtub in this room um but they might have them in the family suites i'm not 100 percent sure we also used the VO5 shampoo and conditioner, I quite liked it, it smelled quite nice and it has like an old fashioned feel to it and they have like the facial bar soap um, <laughs> which I kind of dropped on the side um, yeah so this is the shower, that's it there and then they have like a pulley string which you pull and that's where you can hang up your like bathers, swimsuits, your shorts, any wet clothing um, I've never seen this in an English hotel before but they have it in um, the American hotels well the one that we say that this time <laughs> um, but it's really handy to have this is just a standard toilet you've got some more towels to hang up there and um, the toilets kind of wider than what English toilets are and um, just like a different design but it's a really nice spacious clean shower and um, sliding door so you don't have to open the door and you just use the towels so that you don't get any water on the floor these are the lights, so they, you can control the lights if you just want to have the shower light on or if you just want to have the toilet light on or if you want to have both lights on. Um, this is the tissue box, it has like a silicone feel to it, I quite liked that. <laughs> it gives it a bit more detail and that's the hair dryer. I found that it was quite weak compared to the one I have at home. I've got a Dyson at home which is obviously quite powerful. But I would say if you've got really thick hair, I'd recommend bringing your own hair dryer because it took me quite a while to dry my hair. It took me about 45 minutes because I've got long thick hair. So that's the wardrobe, you've got the ironing board, you've got the iron in there, you've got thick duvet up there and coat hangers, a safe's kept in there as well. And then in here, this is the room, I love the view. So these are the beds, these are like double beds, they're like the ones I have at home and you have your own little lights, you've got two like nice pictures above the bed as well um, and it's like nice and blue with the orange headboards and um, yeah it's really nice in here and the most favourite thing to this room is the view, it's so nice and I can't wait to wake up to this view every morning, it looks so nice, I'll try and capture that a bit better for you. Um, that's actually Volcano Bay, the theme park there. And then down there is like the end of our theme park. So over here there's like um, a little light, another light and then a little table. And I think I might put my breakfast cereals there. And then you've got like a table and I'm not sure what this is for. Maybe it's like for champagne or something or a bin. I think it might be a bin. <laughs> And then you've got some sockets, you've got like the double um, media sockets. I think these are quite good because they're like the ones you put your iPhone charges in. Another light, a cute little coffee set up. I don't really eat, drink coffee. We've got single cup coffee, decaffeinated. So this is the little TV area and there's like an advertisement of Cabana Bay Hotel. It's really nice and in these you've got some cupboards. So this is the fridge. I'm gonna to go to Walmart and stock it up with some water and some cereal. Um, it is turned on, it hasn't got a light in it, but it keeps, it's nice and cool. I'll put some milk in there and get some water and fill, fill it up with some water. Um, and it's quite nice because it doesn't even look like a fridge is in there. And then these are just clothing drawers by the looks of it. So yeah, this is the room, I really like it. And by the bed, let's have a look at these lights. Oh, that's cute. So you can kind of choose. So there's like two light settings. So you can have it on and off, on and off. So you can kind of choose which one because there's two buttons as so you can kind of see there. You've got this bed with the lights on, or you could have this bed with the lights off. Um, and then also the sockets by the bed, I'm just seeing what ones they are. Oh, they're not those um, single USB ones, but you've got the adapters. You've just got, in here you've got the Bible, the traditional Bible. And yeah, so this is our room. I absolutely love it. I just can't believe it. We literally just got here and it was like a nightmare trying to find the room, but it's so nice to finally be here and to wake up to this in the morning will be a dream. So I hope you
you enjoyed the tour of the hotel in the room. I've written some notes down on my phone. Yeah, I'm going to start off with the negatives and then go to the positives so we can end on a good note. So, number one, if you're going to be staying in the volcano room overlooking Volcano Bay, it is a long walk to the room, just to pre-warn you. So, well, it's not a super long walk, but it's a long walk when you've been to the parks all day and then you've got to go back to your room at the end of the day. Yeah, you can stay at the Americana and the south side rooms if you don't want to walk too far. Um, but it is worth it to see the Volcano Bay view every day. It's really lovely, like, waking up to, like, a volcano overlooking it, seeing all the beautiful blue blue water and just the theme park it's got so much life and like ambience to it number two regarding the volcano it is very loud if you're a light sleeper and you want to have a sleep in in the morning after being at the parks all day it's really hard when you wake up in the morning because you won't be able to get back to sleep because I was literally I'm such a light sleeper and it's like if Aaron was sleeping Aaron would sleep through it but I couldn't sleep through it so you might be able to sleep through it but it's just like bong 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 and like banging on the drums and You'll hear it if you stay there, you'll know what I mean. So for number three, I've written about room cleaning. They are quite good with room cleaning, but for about four of the 12 nights I stayed there, 12 or 11 nights, I can't remember how many nights I stayed, but basically there was a bit of a story. So um, one of the nights that we was there, see those do not disturb signs. We basically, we had it in our room because we went out for the day. And then when we came back, the do not disturb sign was on our door, but we had another one. So we feel like the cleaners must have put the do not disturb sign on our door but we're not 100% sure and our room didn't get clean that day and we literally made sure we was out for the whole day to make sure our room would get clean because it's like the third day in a row the cleaner didn't come to clean our room um but we did so I would recommend finding reception to just say I've checked out of the room now for the day and um, can I get my room clean that's if you want your room cleaned or if you just want fresh towels just tell them and um, because it was a bit annoying having to keep phoning them to say oh can you clean our room they were good some of the days but then some of the other days they wasn't as good maybe it was different people different staff um, and I just found it really weird how we had a do not disturb sign on our door and we knew it wasn't ours because we only had one when you check in like usually you just have one do not disturb sign you don't need to and then we had one that was still left on our by the tv stand and then we had one on our door that was just put on there after we left for the day so yeah we found that a bit strange let me know if that happens to you if you stay another point I want to make is basically um the fridge in our hotel room wasn't that great like we bought some almond milk we went to Costco and we bought some almond milk to put inside the fridge we had it for like two days it was fine two days and was pouring it in our cereals on the third day I poured it into my cereal and it was like clumps of ice like it's like a slush puppy and it was just like it was so annoying because it cost we was going to Costco we didn't have a car when we was out there so we would have to like get an Uber to Costco which is a bit more inconvenient I guess it's not as bad if you're driving but it's like we have to get an Uber there to then so then basically that day we just got Uber Eats for breakfast because all of our milk was like slush puppy so the fifth point and the last negative point is the hotel dinner was pretty bland so when we stayed there the hotel dinner it, the the cauliflower the curried cauliflower was really nice I liked that um but that was just like some sort of curry powder on the cauliflower that was just it's kind of basic um the chicken it was okay slightly dry um and like my vegetables and stuff it, it wasn't anything spectacular and the prices are really high at the hotel like I was looking at the s'mores kit to buy s'mores and I think you can see it in the video but it's so expensive like you can just go to Costco and buy it cheaper but I guess it's maybe just for the experience like if you're sitting around the fires at night time you're like oh I want to make some s'mores you can just go into the shops and make your s'mores instead of driving out to Costco to buy all the sticks and the marshmallows and everything and um, but yeah did find that was quite expensive um the overall the whole like cafeteria was quite expensive so the positives now so number one was the lovely view we paid extra to have the volcano view when we stayed out there and it was really it was worth it besides all the noise and everything it was worth it like waking up to that view every morning like it was just 
you felt like you was in a dream every day waking up and coming back to England and looking out my window and just seeing bushes. It was just depressing. <laughs> you can kind of see my bushes, what I wake up to every morning now. Number two is that you get an hour early access into Islands of Adventure, uh, Volcano Bay Park and also Universal Park, which is a really good park because if you want to be really early for everything and skip all the queues, you can just skip the queues for an hour early. Um, it's kind of like Disney. If you stay at a Disney hotel, you can get into all the Disney parks an hour early as well. The third one was the room smelt lovely. If you're like me and you like smells and you like things smelling nice, the room smelt lovely and no one smokes in the rooms and it's just fresh and clean. Like, I just love fresh smells and it had like a really like, um, I don't know if it's like an old fashioned nice smell, but it was a really nice like modern slash old fashioned nice cleaning smell. Number four, what I also loved about the hotel is that they had like old fashioned music playing all the time, especially in the diner area. They also had like old fashioned cars and it gave it like a unique feel when you was there. Um, it just felt like you was back in like the 50s or 60s. It was really like cute. I loved it so much. It's like you'd wake up in the morning, walk through the cafeteria to get to wherever you need to go for the day. And it's like, you could just go in there, hear the music, like see all the like 50s 60s fashion fashion theme around you and it was really nice it, it definitely made the experience a lot better I would stay at the hotel again but I would like to try a different hotel next time when I go but yeah that's pretty much it I hope you liked the video the negatives weren't even that negative and the positives were really great and um, I definitely recommend the hotel for anyone that's interested and I hope you have a lovely holiday if you stay at Cabana Bay Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.